Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is how to make money in this game. Um, now, if you pop into the purchase screen, uh, we can see that these first five things here, Aquanauts, Scientists, Technicians, Tritons, and Barracudas, they all come with a maintenance slash salary cost. Now, that maintenance and salary is half the amount that it costs to buy it. So, it costs 40000 for an Aquanaut, so the, ma so the salary is 20000 per Aquanaut. 30,000 for scientists, 25k for technicians, 250 for tritons, and 300k for barracudas. That's per item every single month. Okay, so that all adds up if you can do the math. Now, especially as you expand bases and, you know, later in the game, it becomes enormous. Anyway, um, there is a way around this. Sorry, wrong screen. We'll just pop into the monthly costs screen. So as we can see here, um, this confirms everything I've just said. Um, it's the salary times the quantity, and that's the total amount. So we can see here, I mean, this isn't that far into the game, this particular game. And it's already, you know, that's almost a million, that's one and a half million each. That's, you know, what, close to four, about 400, four million um, per month just for these three guys here. Tritons and Barracudas, I wouldn't worry about them too much because they're you know, a bit of a hassle to move around. You kind of need them for missions. Um, Aquanauts, I probably wouldn't move them around just in case you know, they attack your base or something. But technicians and scientists, definitely. Okay, so basically the trick is this. Right before the end, end of the month, you can see here it's 31st of August. Um, right before the end of the month, so about three hours or so, give or take. Okay, three hours before the end of the month. What we're going to do is we're just going to hold till our production. Just get rid of all those guys. Okay, there's nothing manufacturing. And we're going to transfer them off to another base. Doesn't matter which base, just has to be another base, different base. Um, of course, you're going to have to have, uh, what I like to do with my second base is I like to put quite a few living quarters there just so I can you know, support this trick. Um, I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so they've been transferred, all the scientists and technicians. As you can see, yeah, there's, there's five, yeah, about five living quarters there. And I also use it as a uh, uh, MC training place as well. I've got three MC labs. Okay, so basically... They've been transferred off. Just fast forward to the end of the month quickly. Okay, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. I'm not gonna bother with MC training yet. Okay, so we can see here my money's gone up a lot. Now, normally, you know, after the funding from all the countries have taken place, miners or the salaries it would probably be about break even. But because I've done that transfer trick, um, I've just earned myself about three million, and. All I have to do is just cancel all this crap. Whatever. Just lagging a bit because of fraps. Excuse the lag. Okay, so you can see that they've transferred now. And all we have to do is just transfer them back. Now, um,. Obviously, this is going to cause a slight halt in your research and your manufacturing, um, but I think it's very much worth it. You know, it's about 10 hours less research and manufacturing for a shitload of money uh, every single month as well. And this is really important. That, you know, the first few months of the game, when uh, you know your money is a bit less available. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, Oh, one thing is for your manufacturing, when you transfer your technicians out, if you are manufacturing something big, like, you know, a Manta or, what, you know, just one of the ships, um, something big, I would leave one, te one technician to keep manufacturing it so that when you do transfer them back, you don't have to start from scratch again. All right. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's a really good way to make money. Oh, and one of the ways you can make a lot of money in this game. And of course, I will cover some of the other ways as well a bit later on. Alright.
Okay, so let's talk about another way to make some good money in this game. Um, one of the other ways is you can manufacture things and sell them back out to the market. Um, so the question really lies in what is the best thing to manufacture, which gives you the most bang for your buck. Um, I'm not going to bore you and go through each individual item. Uh, I'll just tell you straight off, you know, what's the best item. So, the best item is the course cannon. Uh, simply because if you factor in the time required and the workspace required and the cost per unit, um, you know, and of course the sellback rate, this works out to be hands down the best. Um, now, if you're like me and you prefer to go down the Sonic tree at the beginning of the game instead of the Gorse tree, then of course you know this is a bit inconvenient to get the Gorse cannon because you know it's really far into the Gorse. Um, research tree line. Like you have to research all the weapons plus the heavy gauze clip. Um, then of course the gauze cannon itself to get it and it's a bit out of the way. Um, so that's why I use it as more of a late game thing. Early game, um, what I like to do is well the second best thing to manufacture and sell back is the particle disk sensor. Um, it's you know you can research it straight off the bat and um, you can you know, use your initial 10 technicians that you get at the start of the game to start manufacturing them and start, make, start making money throughout the whole game while you're not any time that you're not actually manufacturing anything else. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, stick by those two things, the particle disk sensor and the gorse cannon later in the game, or early in the game if you do decide to go down the gorse tree. Um, and yeah, reap the rewards. Good way to make money. Okay, so the next thing we're going to cover is um, when you're selling a one of your ships, okay, um, you've got to be weary about what weapon it has attached. So let's just say we want to sell this Barracuda one. If we sell this right now, we're going to lose those Sonic Oscillators, which is just not good because that's 30 zerobyte right there. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of it by just equipping some crappy one and then you sell it now um, obviously with this in mind you just want to use the cheapest one so in this particular case it's the Ajax so I just happen to have two DUPs lying around but normally um, if you don't have anything on stock um, just just buy two Ajaxes, wait for it to come in. When it comes in, just equip them and then sell the Barracuda. Um, the only time I really do this is when like, I start making heaps of mantas. Like I got a, a, a huge workshop up and running and I'm making mantas left, right, and center uh, like crazy. And, um, and then I, I start pretty much replacing my Barracudas with my mantas, and it's really late game. but you know, it's still nice to know, um, and it's, it's just a good way to save 30 zerobyte uh, with those two sonic oscillators, not to mention the, the time and money um, to build them as well.